Uh, hello, everybody. Good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, depending on where you're located. Um, welcome to Lab Informatics, protecting and legally defending the authenticity of your scientific data. Uh, I am Kevin Davis, Editor-in-Chief of BioIT World. We've enjoyed an exciting series of four uh, symposia uh, over the past uh, two or three months covering cloud computing, electronic data capture, next generation sequencing, data, and other topics. Today's topic, uh, data security, preserving data integrity, is probably as critical as anything we've done uh, up until this point. We're very grateful to Surety for underwriting this web symposium, which allows us, has allowed us to offer complimentary registration to all of you, and we hope you'll stick around for the full 90 minutes uh, for free expert presentations uh, and uh, Q&A uh, after the presentations, and if, that, if time permits, uh, some concluding thoughts and questions uh, at the end. Uh, as Joan mentioned, please use the platform to enter questions at any point during the presentations. We will do our best to get to as many questions as we can during the 90 minutes. Now, I'm no expert on data security, but a few trends are apparent uh, to me. Uh, first, the volume of research data is clearly growing at an absolutely uh, phenomenal rate, an exponential rate in many cases. Uh, also, at least judging from uh, media reports, the number of security violations compromising medical records and other types of confidential information uh, from all kinds of organizations is also uh, very much uh, uh, on the rise. Uh, third, I think the implications for life science companies and organizations in dealing with these security breaches because of the impact on intellectual property or regulatory compliance has probably never been great. I'm sure our three guest speakers can speak to this in much more detail with much greater authority. So for the next 90 minutes, uh, our guests are going to discuss intellectual property protection measures and the data integrity controls facing life sciences uh, organizations. And they're going to, I think, illustrate strategies and solutions in many cases to protect and legally defend the authenticity and ownership of your electronic lab data. So I hope you'll find the next uh, hour and a half uh, useful. Uh, I'm delighted to be joined by three guest speakers. Um, I'm going to introduce them uh, uh, in reverse order. Uh, rounding out today's web symposium will be Bob Flinton, Vice President of Marketing and Product Management for Surety, so he'll be speaking in about an hour's time. Uh, sandwiched in the middle of our three, uh, trio of speakers is David Pletcher, Director of Informatics at the Joint Bioenergy Institute uh, in the Bay Area. Uh, but kicking off uh, proceedings is Michael Elliott. Michael is founder and CEO of Atrium Research and Consulting. He's a chemist by training, uh, worked in various software and IT capacities for uh, Token Armor Corporation, now part of Applied Biosystems, uh, and Scientific Software Incorporated, now part of Advent, uh, where he was Senior Vice President Handling CyberLab, a leading electronic content management system. Uh, Atrium Consulting, Research and Consulting, which Michael founded in 2003, aids clients in informed decision-making in scientific informatics. And today, Michael is going to be speaking on the subject of electronic R&D opportunities and risks. Michael, a warm welcome to you. Great. Thank you, Kevin. appreciate everybody joining us today. Um, as uh, Kevin did indicate, uh, Atrium Research, we're basically a, a market research and strategy advisory practice, uh, particularly in scientific informatics. So.